Hey Fallout fans, Compulsion84 here. Today I'm going to show you how you set up supply lines in settlements in Fallout 4. So I've intentionally not added a settlement to my network. So if you go into the menu and zoom out and on the Xbox you hit the left bumper and you can see all your networks. So I've got everything connected except for this boathouse. And to connect it is pretty simple but the game doesn't really tell you how so I'll show you how right now. So in order to do this you need to have your charisma stat at level 6. So I'll show you that real quick. So you go to level 6 and you'll see local leader. The first one allows you to set up supply lines and the second one allows you to, to build stores. Now to me I had to put stats specifically into charisma to do this so just getting it to level 2 so I could make stores made a lot of sense especially since the stores are really handy for getting new things or clearing out your inventory. So once you've purchased the perk the next part isn't bad at all so I'm going to go to where I want to send my supply line from. I'll do it from Green Top Nursery since I did a nice kind of nexus right here. So one of the things I wanted to show you real quick was with, without the supply line, I can't actually build the largest generator. You can see I'm missing copper and aluminum. And once I make the connection, you'll see I now have uh, access to a wealth of supplies. The whole point of supply lines is to share junk between your settlements. So I'm now at my source settlement, and it doesn't really matter which one you pick. You just gotta, you know, choose whichever you want your nexus to be. So what you need to do is go into build mode and find a settler that you want to send as a provisioner to the other colony. So I'm going to select this girl. And on Xbox, it's right bumper. So I hit that, and it sends Settler 2. So I now need to send her to the boathouse. I confirm it. That's it. It's done. Now when I go and hit it, you can see I've now got a mark from the boathouse to the nursery. So it's now supplied. So now, when I go back to the boathouse, I'll go to that same large generator. And you can see, rather than having a shortage of, I think it was copper and aluminum, I've now got tons of it. So I can go ahead and build that. So again, supply lines are really important if you plan to do a lot of settlement building and you know defenses, beds, whatever. Because otherwise it's super annoying because you gotta take junk from place to place and try to ration it out. It's just so much e easier this way. And this is just a mandatory thing if you're gonna build settlements. One more quick tip I'll give you, something that I didn't even realize was really in the game because I never checked for this sort of thing is the help menu. So if you hit start and go in here, there's all sorts of descriptions you can go in here and find out all, lots of details and a lot of things that are very briefly explained or not explained at all. Go in here and poke around and you might learn something new or get some more details about something you had no idea about. I just took, you know, 10 or 15 minutes one day and read through all these and learned a few things about the game. Now with supply lines, you can succeed in Fallout 4 and build towers, sweatshops, I don't know, giant centuries on farms, whatever your, your you know, decision is. If you want to uh, exceed the build limit, check out the video up here where I show you how to use just, you know, a built-in uh, function of the game to drop weapons and increase your build count. So, again, I'm Compulsion84. I make gun, gaming, and gadget-related videos. I hope you liked this. If you did, please take a look around my channel and subscribe if you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.